Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with another Philadelphia Phillies 2020 Imagine Season game. Uh, the Phillies, this is uh, game 70. This would be game 70 of the season. And uh, the Phillies are coming into this game 25 and 44. And they are playing the first place Oakland Athletics. And the Athletics are 39 and 32 on the year. Now, interestingly, we've already played the first two games of the series against Oakland. And we beat them both times. We also just came off of the Cubs series. And we took two out of three from the Cubs. So we're on a little bit of a, uh, a winning kind of a, not a winning streak, but like winning a lot more than we have been. So we come into this third game of the, the uh, series, third and final game of the series. I will go over the lineups when I get to the lineups. Uh, as each lineup comes up, the pitching matchup today is going to be Chris Bassett on the mound for the A's. And we are sending Vince Velazquez up to the, the uh, mound. And um, so, yeah, with that, let's get underway here. Uh, we will go over the Oakland lineup. And as always, you know, you've got the inning marker right here. And we will be keeping the score here on the uh, logos for each team. Uh, the A's lineup will line up like this. Uh, Ramon Laureano at leading off and playing center field. Marcus Semien will bat second and play short. Robbie Grossman bats third. He's the left fielder. Um, Olsen will be the first baseman batting in the cleanup spot. Chad Pinder will be at third base today. Uh, Chapman is injured still for three more games after this. Uh, Mark Connor will play right field and bat sixth. Batting seventh, you got Tommy LaStella at second base. Sean Murphy is the catcher, and he'll be batting eighth. And bringing up the rear is Jake Lamb, the DH for the A's today. And as I said, they will be facing Vince Velazquez. So here's the Laureano. And uh, he gets a 2-7, and against a righty, that is going to be a walk. So Velazquez is aboard with a walk. And that'll bring to the plate Marcus Semien, the shortstop. And he gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Uh, for us, that is going to be a 3-E-37. And that is a 6. So let's see what 6 and 3. Hopefully it's going to be on the range part. And it is, and it is a double play. So... There is a 4-6-3 double play on that, and uh, two down. And that brings up Robbie Grossman. And Robbie Grossman gets a 3-5, which is a walk. So the A's got another guy on. Uh, if it weren't for that double play, they would be in business right now. But they have a man at first and two out. Matt Olson is the batter, the first baseman. The power hitting first baseman. And that is going to be a home run as we say that. And so they do strike for two runs, even though they had double play eliminate two guys earlier. So they could have even, the, the damage could have been a lot worse than this. Uh, but... Uh, it's it's bad enough because I mean this is the Phillies we're we're obviously not very good so take the man off the base and you got Chad Pinder and he gets a three eleven and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop so he's out six three but not before the A's can manage to get two runs in the first inning so we got to go find the two and put that out there for the A's. Who are already leading to nothing. Then we go to the bottom of the first. So the lineup for the Phillies today will be Adam Hazley leading off, playing center field. 
Reese Hoskins will bat second, playing first base. He's hitting 265 with 14 home runs on the season. Uh, the third batter will be Real Muto, the catcher, who has bounced back from a terrible, terrible beginning to his season, and he is now hitting 237 with nine homers on the year. Uh, Alec Baum, the uh, third baseman, will bat fourth. He's hitting 272 with five home runs on the year. Batting fifth is Bryce Harper. He's fallen off a little bit lately. He's hitting 248 with 13 homers. He'll be in right field. Batting sixth will be Andrew McCutcheon in left field today. Batting seventh will be Bruce, the DH, having a year that is way above his card. He's hitting 285 with 16 home runs. And then Gregorius will bat eighth, and he's the shortstop, followed by the ninth hitter, Kingery, who will play second base today. So we'll see if the uh, Phillies can get out there and get those two runs back at any point. It's uh, going to be a 2-9, and that's a ground ball to second. So Hazley is out 4-3. Uh, to three. One down quickly. And Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins gets a 3-6. That's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. So he also goes 4-3. And there's two down very quickly for Real Muto. The and he gets a 6-9 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Bassett with the K, that's the first strikeout of anybody uh, in the game. And no runs come in for the Phillies there. And we go back to the uh, the uh, A's lineup, and that's going to be Mark Connor will lead off here for the A's in the second. He gets a 3-9, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Vasquez with his own strikeout right there. And that brings to the plate Tommy Lestella. Tommy Lestella gets a 5-10 batting left. And that is going to be a... Um, that's going to be an out. It's going to be a fly ball center field. Lestella gets the old F8. And that brings up Sean Murphy, the catcher. Good hitting catcher. Now on the Braves in real life, and he gets a fly ball to center. So the A's get nothing there after a very good first inning. They have a very quick and unproductive second inning. We go to the bottom of the second, and Alec Baum will be the hitter for the Phillies. He gets a 5-7, and uh, that's going to be a fly ball to center. So there's one down quickly, and uh, that gives way to Bryce Harper, the right fielder. He gets a 1-5. That is a strikeout. That's the second strikeout for Bassett, and uh, brings up Andrew McCutcheon. And McCutcheon gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. So the Phillies are out quickly. Uh, they're out and down, out, down and out very quickly. We go to the top of the third inning with the A's holding a 2-0 lead here and the top of the order coming up for, or wait a minute, no. Jake Lamb is up for the A's. And he gets a 4-7, <coughs> and uh, that's going to be a, uh, that's going to be a walk. So Lamb, the left-handed hitter, draws a walk. And uh, that's been a bugaboo today for Vasquez because that's the third walk he's issued here in the third inning. Loreano back to the top of the lineup now, and that's a 5-2 batting right. That's a ground ball to first. The first baseman is a 4-E-16. That is a 3. That's going to be something big. Um, yeah, 3 and 4. That's going to be a single double asterisk. And runs are now at the corners. Which brings up um, Marcus Semyon. He hit into a double play the last time. He gets a 4-7. This time, that's going to be a fly ball right field B, and it's going to score the runner on third.
And that's the third run allowed by Vasquez, and it's going to be 3 0 for the A's. Grossman is the batter. He gets a 4 7. He would be batting left. That would be a walk. And again, the walk's coming back to kill Vasquez here. And Matt Olson is the batter. Matt Olson getting a 5 8. 5 8 for a lefty, and that is going to be a uh, double. That's a double, and it scores a run. The A's aren't going to press the issue on that. Vasquez allows another hit. Um, let's see. And, uh, yeah, run came in. And Chad Pinder is the batter. He gets a 6-12. He's batting right. That is going to be a ground ball second base. The second baseman is a 3-E32. That is going to be a 12. I'm calling it a 12. And that's going to be on the E32, which is not going to be good. Nine. And that is going to be a ground ball A. That is, well, it's a ground ball. Yeah, it's a ground ball. So no run. The run doesn't score. And he goes out 4-3. And that'll bring up... Mark Cotta with two down. And he gets a 6-3 batting right. That is going to be a fly ball to left. The left fielder is a 4-E-4. That is a 10. And that's going to be on the E-4. That should be a pretty good result. 4 and a 6. And that is going to be a... Fly ball B. So he gets out with no further damage, but it was bad enough as the A's uh, strike for two more in the uh, third inning. And now we got to go get the four for them as they lead it four nothing. And we're going to bring up to the plate. Um, in the bottom of the third, yeah, we're bringing up Jay Bruce. That is going to be a 2-6, which is a strikeout. Bassett with the K strikes out his third guy. Hasn't allowed anybody on base yet. Gregorius is the batter. He gets a 1-12. That's a foul out to third. That's two down very quickly, and Scott Kingery is the back. He gets a 1-4, and that is going to be a double. So that's the first hit that um, Bassett has even allowed. And Adam Hazley is the back. And he gets a 6-6 six, six batting left. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. No runs come in for our Phillies there. We go to the, the uh, top of the fourth. We're going to take Vasquez out. So he's done. He only goes three innings. He goes three, allows... Uh, I've got three hits, but he walked four guys. And one of the hits that he allowed was a home run. So... Not a good, uh, not a very good outing for him. And I know just who we're going to bring in. We are going to bring in Adam Morgan. So Adam Morgan's coming in to pitch. And uh, Connor will be the batter. Or no, Lestella. Lestella is the batter. Connor made the last out. 
take the uh, runner off second. And we're here in the top of the fourth. And that is a 3-9. Morgan is a lefty, so that's going to be a fly ball to right. One out, and um, Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy gets a 5-7, batting right. That's going to be a strikeout. And the batter is Jake. And he gets a 6-6 six, six batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. So good, uh, a good first inning for Morgan. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Losing 4-0, though. Got to get four runs just to get even now with Hoskins as the batter. He gets a 6-8 batting right, and that is going to be a single. So we get uh, only our second hit. The Phillies only have two hits. Hoskins at first, Real Muto up. That's a 111, and that's going to be a ground ball first base C. So that'll move Hoskins to second. Which brings up Alec Baum. One down. And that's a 4-9 batting right, and that's going to be a that's going to be a line out to third. So there's two down now, man at, man at second and Harper up. 6-7 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to second, their second baseman is a 4E23, and that's a 1, so that'll be a single double asterisk and not going to run. And that is the third hit and first run allowed by Bassett, and that'll make the score at least 4-1 with McCutcheon up. And McCutcheon gets a 4-12 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, and the pitcher is a 4E22. That is a 9. So let's see. That's going to be on the E22. On the air rating. 8. 8 on a 22 is going to be a ground ball. And he's out. One to three. But we do get a run. And we cut the lead, the A's lead to just three runs, with the score being four to one. Top of the fifth inning. Morgan's still out there, Loriano batting. And that is going to be a 2 4, which is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he bounces out to um, Morgan. Marcus Semien up. He gets a 5-9, batting right. That is going to be a home run. So Semien goes deep and extends the A's lead back to four runs. The batter is Robbie Gross. He gets a 4-5, batting right. That is a strikeout. Two down and Matt Olson. And he gets a 5-5, batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Morgan recovers nicely, but they do get a run off of him. Uh, let's see. And we go to the 
bottom of the fifth inning. And the A's now have a, have a five spot over there. And, and I don't think it's McCutcheon. No, it's Bruce. So Jay Bruce is the batter. Um, Bassett has been very good here. He's been right on top of his game. 5'10 batting um, as a lefty. That is going to be a home run. Bruce hits a homer. It's a ballpark homer. And we cut the lead again. That brings up Gregorius. The Gregorius won 2-8 against a righty as a fly ball left. So there's one down. And Kingery up. Kingery had a hit his last time. And he pops out to second. This time. And there's two down. Back to the top of the order with Hazley. And that's a 6-12 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 4-E-22. That is an 8. It's going to be on the 22. That's a 7. And uh, that is going to be an E-1. So the pitcher makes a one-base error and allows Hazley to reach. Which brings to the plate Reese Hoskins. Hoskins gets a 2 4, and that's going to be a strikeout. Strikeout by, that's the fourth strikeout by Bassett. Um, but we did get another run to cut the lead uh, again to only three runs, or yeah, three runs. And Chad Pinder will be up in the top of the sixth inning here. I'm going to send Morgan out there for his third inning. 2-9 is going to be a strikeout. Morgan with his actually fifth strikeout already. Mark Thomas is the batter. He gets a 5-7 batting right. That's going to be a strikeout. And uh, that's his sixth strikeout. Wow. And Tommy Lasella Lestella is up. And that is a 2-8. And that's a ground. Oh, wait a minute. That is a pop-out to second. So, no runs come in for the A's in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Just down by three here, but uh, really, though, Bassett is really pitching quite well. Real Muto will be the first batter for us, and it's a 4-9, and that is going to be a single. So, we get the leadoff hitter aboard, which is a good sign. Maybe Bassett is running down. Maybe he's getting tired. Bomb is up. Bomb gets a 411 batting right. That is going to be a fly ball left. So there's one away. Brings up Harper, our man Harper. Singled his last time up. He gets a 3 6. That's going to be a walk. Wait a minute. Yep. Yep. That is a walk. So there's two runners on. With only one out. Let's, let's get this down here. All right. And that's only the first walk issued in the game. You can see the uh, contrast between somebody that doesn't walk people and someone who did in Vasquez. McCutcheon is up. That is a 2-7, and that'll be a single to right field. Now i got to see... What do we got here? What do we got going on? We got a single by McCutcheon. 
The base runner is real muto. I am going to just not do that. I'm not going to even bother to send them. We need runs and base runners. And we got the bases loaded with one out. So we just need some guys to come through. And Jay Bruce is a guy that can come through. He gets a 6-4 batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a 3-E-22. That's an 11. And that is going to be on the E-22. Decent chance there. Let's see. 22, and that's a 3. It's going to be an E-1. It is an E-1. So Semyon makes a one base error, which forces Real, Real Muto home. That is a run allowed by Bassett, but not an earned run. And the bases are still loaded with Gregorius up. And he gets a 4-5 batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball center field B. That scores a runner on third. So we got a little sack fly action there. Yeah. And Kingery up. And Kingery gets a 2-4, which is a single. And I have to figure I'm probably going to want to send whoever that is. It happens to be McCutcheon. Let's see what McCutcheon is running. He is a running 1-14. to 14. You would add 2. It's 16. But the center fielder's arm, and that's Loriano, who has a good arm. It's a negative 4, so it's going to be a 1-12. to 12. It's Hazley's up. I'm going to send him 1 to 12. He just barely makes it, so he does score. Or wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Hazley would be up. So, yeah. Uh, so that run does score. And, uh, and we've come within. I, well, I've got it that we tied three. Oh, my God, we did. We tied the game. And Hazley is up. And he gets a 4-7, four, 4-7 seven, four, seven batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Hazley with the K and uh, Bassett with the strikeout, but not before we come back and tie it. So this team, I mean, like I say, they've been playing well lately. They've been playing like the Phillies should have been playing all season. They've been playing like that lately. We're going to the top of the seventh, and we are going to take Adam Morgan out. He is only going to go three. Yes, three. He goes three. He allows only one hit and one run on a home run, and that was it. And a new pitcher will be Blake Parker. And he'll be greeted by Sean Murphy. And that's a 1-2, which is a, is a single. Parker allows the first man on. There's a guy on with no outs. And Jake Lamb, the hitter. Jake Lamb gets a 2-4, which is the line out to third base. One out. And Loriano up. That is a 1-9. That is going to be a strikeout. Parker with the K. Parker has been a pretty reliable pitcher this year for us. And Marcus Semyon is up. Marcus Semyon getting a 3-9. That is going to be a ground ball second base C. So that is it. 4-3, no runs for the, uh, for the A's. Well, wait a minute. We had four there and no runs for the A's in the seventh. So it is 5-5. Five, five. 
as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And they will take Bassett out. So Bassett only goes uh, six. Yeah, he goes six. And they're going to bring in Lou Trevino. And he'll, he'll greet Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins, the first batter here for us in the bottom of the seventh. He gets a 111, and that is going to be an out. That's going to be a fly ball to right. One out, deep fly, Real Muto. Real Muto getting a 2-3, it's a ground ball, second base. Yep, ground ball, second base, 4-3. And Baum is the hitter. And he gets a 4-2 batting right, and that is going to be a home run. Ballpark homer for Baum. It's a bomb. And the Phillies are going to take the lead here. With the batter being Harper. And that is a 6-8 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. So we do get a run. And the Phillies lead it now, 6-5. I'm going to keep, in the top of the eighth here, I'm going to keep Parker out there at least one more inning. Like I said, he's been pretty good. And Grossman is the hitter. I got Grossman, yep. That is a 6-10. He would be batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball short. Shortstop is a 2E20, that's an 11, and it's going to be on the E20, which is not good. That is a 2. That is really not good. That's going to be a two-base error. <coughs> so, Grossman gets on by a two-base error by the shortstop. And Matt Olson is up. You're not going to sacrifice with Olson. I was going to sacrifice, but not with Olson. You know. He gets a 1-5, and that is going to be a single anyway. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. We're going to bring the... Uh, I'm not going to bring the infield in. I mean, if they tie it, they tie it. But we're home right now, so we want to play for the two outs. And Pinder is up. And he gets a 1-6, but he hits a double, which scores an, another run. That's the tying run right there. And Parker is falling apart. Um, we're going to get action up in the bullpen. I just really did not expect Parker to fall apart like this. Um, we're going to get Connor Brogdon up, and he's going to throw real fast, real hard. Connor's up. We're going to bring the infield in. That is a 4-7, batting right, and that is going to be a single. It was a single 1-2, to two, and they rolled a 2. So, yeah, Parker is now officially falling apart here. And Lestella's up. Um, 
I'm going to play the infield back, hope for the double play, uh, even though, yeah, I mean, we got to get out of the inning. That's really what we're... One seven, no, that's a walk that loads the bases, and now I will bring in the reliever. Parker just, he completely fell apart on us right there. That was totally unexpected. So Connor Brogdon will come in to pitch. And he'll pitch to Sean Murphy. Bases loaded. Um, i got to bring the infield in, I guess, because there's, there's no outs. So there's no outs. <laughs> Uh, four seven batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. So yeah, Brogdon coming in, throwing the smoke. He gets Murphy. Now we do. I'm going to play the infield back because we've got to hope for the double play or a pop out or a strikeout. Um, Lamb is up. He gets a two six. That is going to be a ground ball double play, and it would have been a single double asterisk because it was an A plus plus if I had kept the infield in. So yeah, we get out of the inning, but. Not before the A's strike for two more runs themselves. And they go ahead seven to six. It's like a tennis match here. Um, and Trevino is going to be taken out. They're going to take out Trevino. They've seen enough of him. He gave up a run, and so... He made the mistake of giving up a run, and they're going to bring in the Deeker. Jake Deekman is coming in. And McCutcheon is the batter. Yep, batter here in the bottom of the eighth. And that is a 5'11", batting right. And that is going to be a strikeout. Jay Bruce is up. Jay Bruce with a 2-4. That is a home run. Ballpark home run for Mr. Jay Bruce. That's his second home run of the game. And it ties the game up. So Deekman doesn't get deep there. He doesn't de he doesn't uh, he doesn't deek uh, um, Bruce, who just hit his 18th home run of the year already. So there's one down and uh, Gregorius up, and he gets a three nine, which is going to be a um, pop out to third base. And up steps Scott Kingery. And he gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. Deekman with the K, second strikeout for him. But we get a, another run. Yes. Wait a minute. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. So, yeah. So, we tie the game at seven. This is a knockdown, drag them out game here. We're going to the top of the ninth. Top of the lineup for the... No, no, this is Lamb. Why do I keep putting Lamb on the bottom and thinking he's already batted when he... he I don't think he did. Let's see one. Oh, he did. I didn't mark down that he had batted. Okay, so all right. So um, so we're back to the top of the lineup. We're going to keep Connor Brogdon out there because he pitched great when he came on. 2-8 for Loriano against a righty, and that is going to be a walk. Let's see. Let's 
So that would, uh, that'll bring up Semyon. Semyon gets a 5-6 batting right. And that is going to be a, uh, is it? Yeah, the ballpark home run. Semyon takes, takes him deep. The A's will go ahead 9-7 now with Grossman up. Grossman gets a 1-4. That is going to be a, he is a, he's batting, let's see, what is he batting, left? So, yeah, that's a single. So now all of a sudden Brogdon is falling apart. God, these great pitchers I have. Matt Olson. Matt Olson gets a 4-4. Four, four. Batting left. That is going to be a ground ball short. Shortstop is a 2-E-20. That is a 17. That should be a double play. That is a double play. And with two down, up steps Pinder. And he gets a 4-6, four, 4-6 six, four, six batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. Brogdon strikes out the last man there, but not before the A's get their ninth run of the game. So... Grab a nine. And we got to have two runs right here. And I don't know if they're going to take out Deekman or not. I'm going to say they're not. They're, they're going to keep Deekman out there. Um, and Hazley is the batter. At least that's what I got. Yep. He gets a 3-2, which is a ground ball first base. Hoskins is up. Hoskins gets a 2-8. That's a ground ball third base. Or oh, wait a minute. It's a ground ball second base. Two down quickly and real Muto up. And he gets a 6-8 batting right and that's going to be a strikeout. And that is it. So we made a valiant effort to come back in this game. But it wasn't quite enough as the uh, A's have beaten us 9-7. And that will make us 25 and 45 on the year. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.